Dear Champion Vending Company, I put five quarters in your machine and proceeded to push B2, which should have given me peanut M&Ms. Regrettably, it did not. I found this upsetting as I was very hungry, and also my wife had died 10 minutes earlier. <laughs> I'm not saying that was your fault. I just want to be thorough. I know Jean-Marc has a really unique way of working, so when did you first hear about it, and what was your initial reaction to it? I first heard about it actually, um, I think during the audition process, because I, I actually Skyped with him. We Skyped for about two hours. It was fine. It was great because because from the get-go, what I realized is uh, we got so, the way he works, we got so much accomplished. Fantastic, totally refreshing and liberating and just different. He has this way, I, I know a lot of what we worked with was, you know, he didn't give me line readings, he didn't give me ways to say things, but it was more about feeling. And it was about, okay, what, what is Chris, my character, feeling that's making him say this? You know, so it was less about the doing and more about uh, what's happening inside. He didn't talk a lot about character with me. We didn't talk a lot about um, the scenes themselves. He just, he believed in me. And, and uh, all, what he really did is kind of hold me back from feeling a lot, which I knew was right for the movie, but took some trust. It's sort of antithetical to the actor's instinct. We worked what they call French hours. So you just don't stop. And he's he's so in tune with his DP, uh, he doesn't storyboard. He'll feel out a room, a situation, but before you know it, he's covered it. And uh, you go home early. Do you have any specific memorable moments from working with him that you could share? All of them. I mean, you know, I don't think I, I don't think I can really pick out one, you know, I can just say. I think I see the one right behind that, that's you. It. That was definitely, that was definitely amazing. <laughs> oh, one, you know, interestingly enough, he operated the camera in that scene. You know what's funny is I was watching the B-roll and I was wondering if that was him because his face was uh -huh. no, like, no yeah, way. That's, that's, everybody cleared out and he, he slung the camera over his shoulder and it was me and Jake with sledgehammers and I mean, it's all real. And so we're just tearing this stuff apart and he's running around us in a 360 with the camera like, okay, okay, like running around in a circle as we're just like glasses flying everywhere. There's this sort of um, physicality to Jean-Marc. You know, he's a very physical, he moves a lot, he uses camera, he camera's on his shoulder a lot, he's shooting a close-up then running and getting one across the street, a wide shot or something. And so uh, he gives direction and not necessarily always in an emotional place, but in a physical place. So he'll tell you to move a certain way or how to move or where to go to. And um, so his his form of direction is kind of putting you in a space and then seeing, and then sort of unleashing you on it. But he's controlled all the areas in which you can kind of go. Well, these, these were not drops. These were, you know, we worked up on the 53rd floor of this building and beautiful, you know, panorama of the Hudson River and Hoboken and, and Weehawken. Every day was just filled with, um, it was fun. He, he's intense, he's got great ideas and um, very pure, his vision. But he's he comes with a plan, but 100% interested in just completely turning it and uh, trying something that's not even close to being on the page. What advice would you give to another actor who's gonna work with Jean-Marc for the first time? Oh, wow. Huh. Be open and, and stay truthful to your character. I'd say um, put your trust in him. Just be willing to be free and on your toes at all times. When you work with Jean-Marc, what's amazing is these spur of the moment ideas and things that happen. So if you're truthful and you're in your character, those can turn into the most special moments. Let go, like, you know, I think that's what Jean-Marc's process is and just, um, let go of all these, these all these like, trappings that people kind of, particularly in this business of making movies where so much about vanity or so much about control and you know this weird strange hierarchy of things and you know that people create based on pretty much nothing significant or substantial. They don't exist in his movies and they don't exist in the process of making his movies. So if you come to his movie with that idea um, you should, you should, I don't know, you will have to let it go. So my advice would be to let it go before. Just jump in. Do you think it's too late?
it all back together. Please,